appreciate your time. Thanks very much for coming on in. Hey, one of the most iconic symbols of American business, if you think about it, well, it probably have to be the New York Stock Exchange. But you might have noticed a common trait among the dealers on the trading floor. They're all men. Well, all but one. Enter Lauren Simmons. She's the only full-time female broker as well as the only African-American. Joan Miller has more. Genetics graduate Lauren Simmons was always an unlikely candidate for a career within the beating heart of the US economy, as clients often like to remind her. A woman and you're 23 and you're a minority? What are you doing? How did you get this job? Lauren moved to the Big Apple from her home state of Georgia and thanks to a chance introduction was soon working on Wall Street in an almost entirely male environment. I fell in love with the numbers and the fast movement and the men in the trading jackets and everything was moving so fast. I'm loving it. The New York Stock Exchange is one of the last remaining trading floors to still use human brokers. But even as their numbers dwindle, one thing remains true. This is very much a boys club. One Wall Street veteran, who's been on the floor since 1969, says this disparity goes back to the way things were done before the computers arrived. Trading in a trading crowd was a very physical thing. You and I would look at each other and try and figure out how big an order did we have? How nervous did you look? How aggressive were you going to be? It didn't attract a lot of women back then. Last year, Richard hired Lauren, but she remains the only full-time female broker on the floor, despite attempts to recruit others. We just hired a new person not too long ago, and the interviewing process, there weren't that many female applicants because they weren't applying. For the few women who do make it to the New York Stock Exchange, some challenges await. Everyone here wears a jacket or they wear a blazer. It comes in men's sizes. When I saw it, I felt like I was wearing my dad's coat or something. Despite sartorial obstacles, Lauren was proud to be inducted into the Stock Exchange fraternity and to be only the second African-American woman ever to sign her name alongside J.D. Rockefeller. But New York's financial sector, which has long battled accusations of sexism, needs more to follow in her wake. Joe Miller, BBC News, Wall Street.